Do you know how likely a nuclear war was to happen in 2022? I wasn't even born, but I've heard from my grandpa that it almost happened. A horrific scenario where nuclear weapons cause radioactive fallout, collapsing our civilization and making the Earth uninhabitable. It never happened. Because a natural disaster hit us. Have you ever heard about large igneous provinces? These are volcanoes that don't explode, but huge cracks open in the Earth's crust and lava just starts bubbling out, oozing across the landscape and releasing tons of toxic gases. The most dangerous thing about an igneous province is that it can keep up the oozing for centuries. With the wind effect, these toxic gases spread all over the world and change the atmospheric composition. One of these magmatic gases reduced the oxygen level in the air. Sadly, there's only little oxygen left in the world. Before it's too late for humanity, the oxygen center is invented. It generates oxygen by electrolysis of underground water, and the required electricity is generated by using coal. But you should be slowly moving away from coal towards sustainable sources of energy. This is the only hope for us. You should immediately find and warmly welcome everyone who survived around the globe. Now it's your time, but don't worry, I'll be your guide along your journey. Oxygen is still in development and many things are unfinished. If you find any bugs or have feedback what should be improved, please let us know. Please leave us a wish list if you enjoy the game. It is wish listed. Got it. Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play Oxygen First Breath. This is a strategy city builder survival indie game by the developer Turquoise Revival Games and published by Grab The Games. Yeah, that's the publisher. And if you look for this game, it's actually free to play because it is a demo. So this is in the Let's Play Demo series. The demo was the one that was released on 7 October 2022. The actual game though is by the name of Oxygen. So this is Oxygen First Breath. Meanwhile, the full game is expected to be released in the first quarter of 2023. So here's another demo game. We're playing the demo on the Steam platform and according to the store page of the demo, we're able to play the first 50 days or 50 in-game days and we're gonna center our city around that oxygen generator thing that you saw in the introduction of the game. Now the introduction sounded a little bit strange. I think it's because it is using a text to speech software or something like that. Doesn't seem to be very naturally spoken, but I could be very, very wrong. I'm just wondering though, why use coal as your power when there's so many other heating sources available around here? Like you have lava all around you and that's a lot of heat generated. Well. We'll find out if the game tells us anything about it. Firstly, for Let's Play demo series, I try to cover as much as I can for the game. Although it's 50 in-game days, according to how long each in-game day will take, it might be more than one in-game day per episode. Now let's proceed. Do we start a new game or do we go tutorial? I think tutorial will be better. Version 1.22, let's go tutorial. Ooh. There's a few things that we can pick. This section is about camera controls. Oxygen center, energy menu, ruins, professions menu, and settlers basic needs. Water food houses. We're not even going to read the rest, we're just gonna start with this one. Ooh, okay, click to continue. Welcome, I'm happy to see you here. Let's start with the basics. 
first we should start with the camera controls. It really sounds like text to speech, but again, I could be very wrong. WASD, okay. Q and E to rotate. Oh, can we reset though? Middle mouse button, no, we can't, okay, fine. Mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Great, let's move on All to right. the next step. Alright, but we can use the num key, plus minus. As you see, our people are in front of the oxygen center. When they are out, they use the oxygen tanks. We have to keep the oxygen center running to provide required energy to our buildings. Okay, click the building. Perfect. Here we can see total energy consumption of the oxygen center and also our constructors list. All right. Our constructors are always ready and will start working as soon as you plan a construction. Okay. Let's move on to the energy menu. Oh, I didn't really get to read what's here just now. Energy. Zero, zero, zero. I'm trying to interpret this first. I don't know. <laughs> I, I try. I mean, like, okay, production consumption, fine. What about that sloping upward arrow? Here we can see our energy resources. There is only coal right now. But later we'll hopefully move on to sustainable energy resources. Now let's focus on coal. To keep the oxygen center running, our people should be sent to the ruins to collect the required coal. Click the building, metro station, assign workers to the metro station. No, you gotta tell me how many workers do I have right now. We're supposed to assign three. Very good. By doing that, we assign the profession scavenger to those settlers. No, I can't scroll on the edge of the map. Okay, sure. I can use WSD. That's enough. Assign the scavenger to those settlers. Oh, profession scavenger. Okay. Let's open the professions menu and see the workplace assignments. Awesome. Here we can see all assigned professions. If there is no profession assigned for a seller, then it means the seller becomes a constructor. Quite standard. Okay. What about the coal? Oh, this one. Okay. Now it's time to focus on basic needs. Water, food, and houses. The first thing we should do is to build a water purifier. Build water purifier, assign workers to it. Okay, good, good. No automation yet, that's fine. Produces clean water from lake or river. Max four workers, two energy. Energy consumption if the generator is activated. Ah, okay, sure. Construction cost. What is the construction cost? 25 of what? This? Materials? Oh, okay. Metal. Metal. Sure. Where do I build it? Here. Okay, it's all red there. Uh, how about here? Okay, it must snap over here. Fine. Rotate. Okay, good that it snaps. I don't want, like, dynamic rotation because that's gonna be triggering my OCD. <laughs> F and R key to rotate. Okay, it doesn't work like that. That means the arrows are for where they can access the building. End mode. Under construction. Okay. What are you doing? I can't even scroll in more than this. That's the max I can scroll. Okay, how about look at here? Ah, okay, 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 okay. It's fine. Is that like a camera reset? Double click? Middle mouse? No.
can't scroll in more to see the details. This is quite a distant zoom though, I feel. Wait, did so many people go there previously? I didn't notice at all though. Okay, I can deselect. Right click to deselect. Now I need three. Great. The water purifier is built. Now we have a building where we can collect water. Can I press spacebar or enter? Nope. Now let's focus on food production. It's best to start with a fishing dock. Okay, I might need to disrupt this. I want to try pressing the escape key. Oh, it brings up the menu, that's all. Sure. Construction is B. Okay, good. Building. That's fine. Build a fishing dock. It's still pointing to here, though. Oh! Ah, pressing the B key doesn't remove this one. I need to click on it. Something to consider when doing up the finishing touches for the game. I gotta click on it. I can't just use the hotkey. The arrow is still pointing here. Fishing dock can be built on the edge of the lake, river, or sea to allow fishermen to catch fish in the water. Sea brings more fish as compared to lakes and rivers, so why not the sea then? Like, why not the sea by default? There must be something that's not good about the sea. Because it's uh, further, supposedly. This is a little uh, lake. Energy consumption, and what's the other resource? Tell me, what exactly are you using? Stone, okay. Rotate. Not my view, but uh, FNR, okay. I like the detail, but I can't zoom in more just to see the detail. It would be really nice if I could. Right click. Okay, anyone going? Did I use the spacebar key to pause or something? I think so, I suspect it. Yeah, indeed. The spacebar key pauses the game. Okay, fair enough. Spacebar to pause, that's perfectly alright. Can we speed it up then? Three. Okay, two and one. Okay, good, good, good. Intuitive. Very nice. <laughs> They're all queuing up. But we don't get to see exactly what is going on here. We don't get to see the details. Even if it is like um, very pixelated, I still want to zoom in to see more of the details because it's really cool. I think it'd be really nice to be able to zoom in a little bit more. Like these structures and whatnot. Assign workers, we need two workers. All right, let's just well put done. two in here. We've now taken care of our basic supply of food and water. You should make sure that enough food and water are on hand at all times. Oh, definitely TTS, for goodness sake. That definitely sounds TTS. On hand at all times, uh, the, 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 uh, this part here. Now let's build a canteen for our people to drink water and eat together. To drink water and eat together. Okay. Again, you see, B key doesn't seem to like remove this, like make it proceed to the next stage. I gotta click on it. A place for our people to drink water and eat together. Each visit to the canteen brings one point to the settler's social life. Huh. Uh, okay, plus one point, but anyway. Can we rotate this now? Why? Why must it be facing here? Like, why? Is there any reason why it must face here? Whatever. Right click. Yeah, I keep wanting to zoom in further, but I get nothing out of it. And then we lost some other resources. I don't know what it is. Like, it's used up or something. So, no more uh, canteen. Probably whatever that thing was. Stone? Yeah, stone. Okay, there's a construction progression meter. That's really good. Even if we have to click it, it's fine. That is expected. And the scaffolding. 
I didn't know it was the scaffolding. I think it's really good. Because it feels natural that there should be scaffoldings. That's very nice. Now we need to assign workers, one of them, to the canteen. Why is it always one less than whatever max this is? Good. Now our people can visit the canteen when they are hungry or thirsty. Now let's focus on constructing some houses. Focus on constructing some houses. Okay. Click on this. Container house. Small size living space with capacity of four people. Fertility rate? Wait, they reproduce? I think so. Oxygen tank feeling low. Comfort level low. Inhabitants for construction 20. Build four houses. Okay. Why not rotate though? Never mind. Okay, we placed these in a clockwise manner. Let's see if they prioritize them in a clockwise manner. Seems like it. Seems like it. And then I'm so used to edge scrolling. I think there should be something in the option that says edge scrolling. It's just that, um, yeah, I can rest my left hand and just use the mouse. I mean, since B key doesn't progress the mission, right? <laughs> I'm just glad that they're all blue in color because I like blue color. And they're working through the night. This is early winter, it's all sunny here, so I expect it to be not sunny eventually. Can you imagine if we do not have any more resources and cannot finish a tutorial? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Obviously, that is something that should have been catered for. Excellent. Now our people have houses to rest, have kids, and more importantly, fill up the oxygen tanks. Welcome again. Okay, sorry for the cuts. This is the next part of the tutorial, and the tutorial took kind of long, I would think. I think we're gonna end this here. Let's go to the menu and we'll see what happens, okay? Let's uh, go to the menu. Put to the menu. I think that's quite lengthy for one part of a tutorial. So yeah, we get to see that this is done too. The next section is about winds, cracks, health, oxygen generators, oxygen sufficiency, energy consumption, research center, research points, gas extractors, and tree. So I would think that would be quite a lot for one part of an episode, you know? I don't want to extend this episode for too long and have a very lengthy tutorial. Also, cracks? Um, what do you mean by that? I suppose maybe fissures. Do you mean fissures in the ground? Probably. Like lava fissures in the ground. Because otherwise that word sounds kind of wrong. We'll find out more. We're gonna tackle challenges in the next episode. We've begun tutorials for this demo, Oxygen First Breath, for the game Oxygen. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.